Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the world card. So this is fixed sign energy, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus energy. You could be dealing with any of these signs. So this is a card of completion. You're finally successfully closing out a chapter. And I do see a lot of sweet karmic rewards coming your way. You're entering a phase now of, um, you know, reaping what you've sowed, being at a good place. Um, this is joy. A lot of um, happy times and fulfillment. I do see that you may also be connecting with someone who is at a distance. This could be someone who is overseas or this could be you traveling. This is very positive energy. You're getting some good news here and I do see things moving forward for you. There is a lot of progress and you're ascending to a new level um, in, with pertaining to a certain situation. Let's see what that situation is, Aries. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, so the first card we have here is the Four of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. Next, we have the Three of Swords. This is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. And finally, we have the Magician. This is Gemini or Aquarius Energy. Okay, so I do see that you've been through a lot of pain and heartache with that Three of Swords energy there. You, Someone may have back backstabbed you or betrayed you. You may have been in a very toxic love situation where there could have been a third party situation um this could not it may doesn't have to be another person this could be just some outside um interference in the connection that caused a lot of pain and heartbreak and with that four of pentacles i do see that you were dealing with someone who was a bit um, stingy they could have been a bit um greedy this is someone who wasn't very generous with their time with their emotions their feelings their hearts this person held back a lot from you and didn't let you know how they truly felt about you but this person with that four of pentacles this is the fact that this person actually held on to you a lot this person they valued and treasured the connection even though they didn't show it very much and this person was afraid of losing you and with that magician card this is you taking back your power i do see that you are removing yourself from the situation because it no longer serves you there is an energy of you you know being starved of love here with the three of swords energy there's almost an energy of you know you're not getting your needs met here and if, if anything you're just getting a lot of pain from this person and this person doesn't know how to love correctly they're living too much in survival mode so i do see that you're walking away from that connection and manifesting a new beginning for yourself the magician card is you taking back your power recognizing your worth and your value and i do see you learning a lot of lessons from this and you're now ascending to the next level you are attracting better people into your life and i do see this person still clinging on to you with that four of pentacles this person is not going to let you go without a fight but i do still see that this person they are a bit emotionally closed off but they do still want you in their life and i do still i do see them still fighting for this connection and to keep you this person has a very hard time letting you go they're quite attached to you but they are very 
insecurely attached this person clings to you but this person they they they're not very capable of giving in a relationship but whenever you leave them they can't let go is what i'm seeing but i do see you manifesting something better for yourself with that magician card and the world card i do see that something even better than this is coming your way and um you're taking back your power you're not settling here so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this let's clarify these cards Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Justice card. So this is Libra energy. So I do see you getting an apology from this person. This person will come back towards you wanting to make things right. This is them wanting to give you a fair chance and to be honest with you. And I do see them wanting to apologize. This person has some remorse or this is simply them wanting to get you back. And they, they either way, they're going to issue an apology of some sort, wanting to make things right. And I see justice being in your favor here. Um, whatever it is that you're hoping to get out of the situation, you're achieving it. And things are just working out in your favor. You're divinely protected as well. So I do see that for you. Let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Aries. Okay, so the first card we have here is the Seven of Cups. This is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. Next, we have the Two of Wands, Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. And finally, we have the Devil in the Reverse, Capricorn Energy. Okay, so I do see that there is a little bit of some obsessive energy as well here on this person's part. This person doesn't want to let go and they are very attached to you, but this is not a healthy attachment. There is some um, codependence um, patterns on this person's part and I do see them not wanting to let you go. And this apology from them is also a way of trying to keep you. But with this devil card being in the reverse for you under the magician card, I do see you manifesting something more healthy. You want something more reciprocal, something that's more nurturing, a connection that that is pure. And I do see you manifesting it. And I do see that this person, they may confuse you a little bit with that seven of cups energy. They're going to come in with, um, you know, with this justice energy saying that they want to, you know, make things up to you, to apologize, to make things right again. And I do see that you may have a moment of confusion because when you were with this person, this person wasn't the most emotionally open or honest, but they may start trying to show you that side of them when they want you to come back to them. So that can be confusing for you, but Aries, you're being advised here to practice discernment. Um, the Seven of Cups can also be a card of... Um, you know being sold dreams so don't let this person sell you any dreams because it can also be wishful thinking with that seven of cups this person they may be saying all of these things just because they don't want you to walk away from them but with that two of um wands that is you having options you exploring your options the world is your oyster and i do see you manifesting something a lot healthier this new phase is going to be one of abundance and one of healthy and satisfying connections so i do see that you don't want to be in a connection that's codependent or um, insecurely attached I do see you attracting something better you're freeing yourself with this devil energy being in the reverse you're freeing yourself from things that don't serve you and things that make you feel trapped or stuck and this person they're not ready to let go with that four of pentacles energy but I do see you being ready and um, ultimately I do see that you're going to free yourself from this Aries you're um, leveling up with that world card so that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.